Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. 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 I'm the brother Kasha Paula. The brother Rock. First and foremost, we want to give all glory, honor, and praises to the Howell by Shuki Howell Shah by Shuki Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Uh, today we're going to come with a quick Godspeed, a basic lesson, um, but two prayers. And we're going to mention a few other prayers, um, four prayers that are pretty much mandatory to know and that will help you out when that time hits. I know a lot of brothers talk a lot about prophecy, but we're going to talk about the prayers that are going to help you out when those prophecies come to pass. Mm -hmm. you to say, uh, say basically, uh, you know, to land back off the brother point, uh, because it says in a time of trouble, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, mm -hmm. of our time. So these are very important to have in your arsenal, you know, when the time of trouble hits. Correct. So without further ado, we're going to get first into the Lord's Prayer. So mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, read uh, Matthew. So this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. That's right. So in the very beginning of that, uh, Yahweh Shai said, uh, pray in this manner. So that's how you know it's an important uh, prayer. So I'm going to look. I'm going to tell the brother, the cameraman to come up to. Uh, we have it written down in the paleo um, and, the, you know, Hebrew and uh, English characters and what it means underneath. So if you, if y'all wanted to um, pause it and actually write it down, you can, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. You can bring it a little closer, brother. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna start here at Abinawa, Salaki. You get something to pinpoint it with. All right, so Abinawa, it really, um, this is when I first got into truth, so it, Hebrew is supposed to be written this way, not this way. So just bear with me. <laughs> uh, Abinawa, Shabbat Shemaywan, Kodash, Haya, Shamka, Yahweh. And you can say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kodash right here. Malath Baka, Daba'a, Ratazaka, Haya, Aisha, Ba'arataza, Kawa, Haya, Bashamaywan, Natan Lanawa, Lacham. Call you one, Wasalach Nawa, Chabawath Nawa, Chasalach Nawa, Chabawath Yanawa. Walla, uh, Walla Ah, Thaba Ah Yanawa, Manasayawan, Abo, Hayashanawa, Mayan, Rai, Kaya, Laka. Hamalakwath, Waha Allah, Waha the Pa'arath, La'ai Walumyum. And you can either say uh, Aman, like he, right here, which means uh, it shall be done, or or pretty much you saying Aman at the end is showing your faith, or Tawab, or you can say Them Yad uh, at the end as well. You know, mm -hmm. So that's the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to flip the page again, let the brother get that. So if mm -hmm. you want to pause the video, and write this down, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna get the other side. Mm-hmm. All right. And one more thing we do want to say about this uh, specific prayer, uh, right here where it says, Abal Hayashanawa Mayan Rai. It says, but deliver us from evil. And we're about to enter into some, uh, some the word evil means bad, bad times. times. Yeah. So we're about to enter in some, into some evil times. You know, well, so the next prayer is the uh, the Lord's anointing prayer. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out the script, Deuteronomy uh, chapter six. No, no, that's a uh, number. number, chapter uh, six okay. and twenty-four. Yep, this is our uh, number six and twenty-four. It says, "The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious upon thee." The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come. Hey, and you know, like we're going into 
these things, you know, are good to add to your repertoire because you want to need the Lord more so, uh, more than ever in the times that we're coming into. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So asking him, you know, to keep you, you know, and, 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 and bless you and, and uh, you know, just keep your faith strong. You know, these are, are, are mandatory. That's why they're known as the mandatory prayers here mm -hmm. uh, at Great Millstone. You know. Yeah. So without further ado, I have the, the Lord's anointing prayer written down. If you have some oils that you that you may have, go ahead and anoint yourself and say this: uh, Disregard the ka at the end of Yabarak. Uh, I had put it right there. I forgot to take it out. But it's you can either say Yabaraka or you can say Yabarak ka. And separately like that, whichever way is fine. So the Lord's anointing prayers, Yabarak, Ka, Yahweh, Waya Shamarka, Yaar, Yahweh, Panyawa, Ayaka, Wayahanka, uh Yasha, Yahweh, Panyawa, Ayaka, Wayashum, Laka, Shalawam. And I'm gonna say it one more time. And I'm gonna say it slowly so you can get the pronunciation. Yabarak, Ka. Yahawa, Waya Shamarka, Yaar, Yahawa, Pan Yawa, or you can say Pan Yawa if you would like, Al Yaka, Waya Khan Ka, Waya Khan Ka, Yasha, Yahawa, Pan Yawa, Al Yaka, or again, you could say, Panya uh, uh, Wa, Al Yaka, Wa Yashim, Laka Shalawan. All right. So anytime you're you have brothers and guests, you know, in town from different you know states, or you want to anoint, say you can anoint you, your ribs if you want. Anoint another brother. Anoint yourself. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. You can say this prayer and ask the Lord to you know exactly what that script said. Get Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 4. I know it's, I think it's 6 and 4. Let me get uh, Shema. I want to say Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Yeah, Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Uh, this is the third prayer that should be known. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it written down, but you can always go on to the blue letter. The Lord provided us with tools to uh, get this information mm -hmm. so we can write it down and uh, do your due diligence mm -hmm. because the scriptures tell you. All right, to be diligent. All right, so go ahead and read that Deuteronomy 6 and 4. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. All right, so pretty much uh, what we say, and brother, you can, you know, say it along with me. Mm -hmm. We say, Shema, Shema Yasha Allah, Yasha Allah, Yahawa, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Yahawa, uh, uh, All right, so that's the Shema prayer, okay? Meaning, Hero Israel, the Lord is one, okay? Pretty much that, you know, that's another mandatory prayer that um, our brother should know. And then, last but not least, actually, I do have this one written down, um, is the, uh, the curse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> if you want to get out of here, you'd be saying this every day. All right. And watching mm -hmm. this place fall. So I'm going to go ahead and get this curse very swiftly. Bear with me. I know I have it written down somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If because um, if you if you say you hate this place and you want it to, to, to go, shit, put some curses up on it. Shit, mm -hmm. That's the only way you can chant this bitch down, man. And, you know, just Lord, hear our prayer and get us out of here, man. Mm -hmm. Gotta throw the curses up. Mm -hmm. You got to. Mm -hmm. All right, so without further ado, here's the curse right down here. You can come in and uh, I have it in the Paleo, also in the Assyrian Hebrew, and what it means in English. Uh, you will repeat the anointing prayer three times, you will repeat Shammai prayer three times, and then you will just say this uh, one time. So you got Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Of course, you'll say that three times, or you could say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Akakwadash. You'll say Shalach or Shalach if you want to be technical. Uh, Rayam, Wa Anashim, or you can say it all together Wa Anashim. 
Wahabadim mm -hmm. or Waharagim. All right. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go back through them and tell you what it means. Mm -hmm. It says, um, uh, Wamashapatim, Al, Kal, Adawamim, Wagwayim, Wayabim Nawa, Babakasha, three times, Yahal Bashim, Yahal Shai Bashim, Hakadash, Amun Tawal. All right, so pretty much what we just said was uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name, who the world ignorantly calls God, uh, Ba, In, Ha, The, Shum, Name, Yahweh Shai, which means uh, Deliverer, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, Shalat means to sin, Rayum means evils. The Yom at the end makes it plural. Yom at the all of these make it plural. Mm -hmm. All right. So wa anashim wa meaning and anashim meaning punishments uh, wa um, abajim all right so in destruction mm -hmm. or destructions or destruction is you could say plural wa haragim okay wa and killings yes <laughs> killings um, um, wa mashapatim so and judgments al which means two, call, which means all, so to all, so all those things, killings, destructions, judgments, to all, Adawamim, Edomites, okay, those are main enemy, okay, mm -hmm. uh, Wagwayim and nations, all right, who aren't uh, Israelites, uh, Wa, uh, Ayub, Yum, Nawa, okay, and our enemies, exactly, Babakasha means please and then you say the name again at the end so we just wanted to you know oh salaki yeah that's right you know they want to write it down you can pause it mm -hmm. uh pretty much you read it, yeah. you read it to yeah. you. so pretty much those are the prayers we want to come with a swift lesson you know a basic lesson those are the four prayers mandatory prayers that you should know anytime you have a gathering uh with Akim, sometimes y'all want to send prayers up those are the four main prayers that you're going to send up. And of course, if any other brother has a prayer, they can implement it too in that gathering. But mm -hmm. these prayers are going to help you out in that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any closing? Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, with the curses, uh, you know, the scriptures tell you, shall there be evil be done in the city? And, you know, and the Lord have not done it. And mm -hmm. the scriptures also tell you that the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. Mm -hmm. uh, he he bringeth down, uh, he bringeth up. He put it down, he bringeth up. You want to get that? That's my first hand, right? Yeah, two and six. Yeah. Why, man? Matter of fact, I'll get it for you. It's a lot. Uh-huh. And I'll read it. Because a, a, a lot of people would get sending curses yeah. of Michigan screws, you know, mm -hmm. with us doing some evil. You know, the Lord doing all of these things, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the devil can't do, or Satan, should I say, you know, can't do any evil without the Lord you know, uh, mandating it or, or giving them the green light, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So all of these things uh, that are done, you know, under the sun, the Lord, you know, he, he's, the, he's the director. He, mm -hmm. he does all of this, man. So no, there's nothing wrong with sending up curses on this place. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're evils and killings and destructions, the Lord brings all of that, man. Mm -hmm. So we pray for him to do that, That's you right. know, in America. Because hey, we want to see it fall. Just a land back. Hey, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Is a righteous thing to recompense trouble on to those who troubled you. Just paraphrasing. Yeah. Well, we say killings and, and judgments and all these things to our enemies. What did our enemies bring to us? That's right. So it's only fair. Exactly. You got it. Yep. First okay. Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord kill it. The Lord Yahweh kill it. Mm -hmm. And make it alive. He bring it down to the grave. He bring it up. The Lord Yahweh make it poor and make it rich. And bring it low and lift it up. Okay. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Hey, so water, you know, just wanted to get that to tie, you know, everything again to the scriptures. Because, you know, we don't have a particular scripture for the curses. But, you know, we're backing it up with that. You know, it's okay to send up curses on this place, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so that's about it. Um, again, y'all can pause the video and actually write these down, recite them, and it's on you if you're going to, you know, know them and be diligent, do your due diligence. So with that, we want to give our glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great men, stones, and women, teach well, peace, love, salutation to the young and faithful, best fruit, brother Kashpala, brother Rock. Until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.